Welcome to today's class again. Look at the question before us here. At first, when I saw this question, I was taken aback and uh, I'll have to look at it critically. And after much consideration, I was able to um, uh, break it down and it's very easy. It's as easy as whatsoever. What is the question? The square root of x under it again, the square root of x under again, the square root of x times the square root of x equal to 32, 7, 6, 8 iota. In other words, we're having 32,768 iota. How do we solve for the value of x in this challenge? I solved a similar challenge of this kind already on this channel, but in that question, the figure on the right-hand side is not an imaginary number, it's a real number, and it's as simple as uh, whatever, not as huge as this. And I use a method, the method I use, I took the square of both sides. In other words, I square this and I square this. This guy was not exposed. I went again to square the next term and square this again. Okay, so I started from outside, in, from outside, in. But here, I want to start from inside, out. So I want to start with this. Because of this figure here, I just want to keep this figure. So if you knew yet, this is all I must TV. Let's go into today's challenge without much waste of time. All right, so we take our solution first thing first. All right. Okay, now let's look at this now. We want to take this now. So we can rewrite this as, let's keep this side of the equation. Or let's first of all bring this down. So we have the square root of our x into the square root of this x into the square root of this x, the times this could be written as s to the power of 1 all over 2. Equal to, here we have 3, 2, 7, 6, 8 iota. Okay, so like I said, let's keep this side now. We are having x times x, so the basis are the same, then the exponent are different. Here we have for the power of 1. So we can add this together. So 1 plus 1 all over 2, that will give us um, 3 all over 2, right? So the whole of this can be written as the square root of our x into the square root of this x into the square root of x to the power of 3 all over 2. Easy. Okay. Now, like I said, I said let's keep this side. Then, again, I want to remove this now. If I raise it to the power of 1 all over 2, what would that give us? So let's just go ahead and express that first before we find the numerical value. So we have this into the square root of our x, draw it up, which is for dx. Then dx will now give us here, bracket, x to the power of 3 all over 2, all raised to the power of 1 all over 2. Easy. Now, according to the law of indices, this is an exponent, this is an exponent. So we can use this to multiply this. So this will give us 3 all over 4 times dx, right? So let's go ahead and express this. So we have here, we have here x into the square root of x times, this will now give us s to the power of 3 all over 4. Easy. Okay. So what we do, this is to the power of 1 again. So we can add this and this together. So if we add this and this together, that will give us um, 7 all over 4. So let us do this and see what this gives us. So this is the square root of our x there into the square root. This we said is going to give us 7 all over 4. So we have x to the power of 7 all over 4. Okay, so let's continue on this side and see what this gives us in turn. So from here again, we can now deal with this radical now. So this will now give us here the square root. Let me draw this very well. Then we have our x times bracket our x to the power of 7 all over 4 all raised to 1 all over 2. Okay, mind you, we still have our entity on this other side. All right, so we use this to multiply this again. So, and I left with 
our square root of x times our x to the power of 7 all over this will give us 8. Okay, so this is equal to this. Again, here we're having to the power of 2, sorry, 1. So the bases are the same, so we cannot what are the exponents. So we now have this to be equal to our x or to the power of this will give us um, 8 plus 7 all over 8, which is 15, right? 15 all over 8. So we have 15 all over 8. This is equal to, so again, we take the square root of this. <laughs> Are we getting something here? Yes. So if we take the square root of this, so this will end up giving us the 15 all over 8, close bracket, all raised to 1 all over 2. So if we use this to multiply this again. This will now give us here your x to the power of 1 over 5 all over 16. This is equal to, we cannot bring our figure, which is this, so it's equal to 32,768 iota. So from here, let's go straight here. So what do we do? Let's multiply the power here by 16 all over 15. We also do same to so this other side. So this will now give us here x to the power of 15 all over 16 all raised to our 16 all over 15, we do same thing here. Bracket your 32, then uh, these two please, 7, 6, 8, iota, all raised to our 16 all over 15. Oh, this is 15, please. Oh, so what happened? This, this will leave, this, this will leave. We are left with our x here now. Let's deal with this side of this equation now. Okay, so let's continue on this side now. Now, from here, we now have our x is equal to... Now, look at what I want to do now. I want to use 16 to open up everything here. So we're going to come up with our 3, 2, comma, 7, and 6, 8, all raised to the power of 16, then dot iota, all raised to the power of 16, everything all raised to 1 all over 15. So the question is, now we cannot find this because the figure here is going to be very huge, this to the power of 16, but we can find the value here, which is iota to the power of 16. Iota to the power of 16 will give us positive 1, okay? If you take it down from iota to the power of 0, it's 1, and iota to the power of 1 is equal to iota. Iota to the power of 2 will give us minus 1. Iota to the power of 3 will give us minus iota. Iota to the power of 4 will give us positive 1. Iota to the power of 5 will give us um, uh, minus 1. So if we go down continuously down to 16, that will give us iota to the power of 16 is going to give us positive 1. So the whole of this will give us 1. So our expression will now become Bracket again, your 32, comma, 7, 6, 8, r to the power of 16, bracket 1 all over 15. Okay, so this is 15th root to this expression here. So we can go ahead and write this as our x is equal to the 15th root. So we have here 15th root of 3, 2, 7, 6, 8, all raised to our 16th power. And what is the 16th root of 32,768? It is 2. So the whole of this expression will now be written. Therefore, our x will now be equal to 2 or to the power of 16. <laughs> so this is the value of our x from this radical expression or radical equation oh all right so this mark the end to this video challenge here yeah. if you learn something from this video challenge give the video a thumbs up and if you're not subscribed do not forget do not hesitate to subscribe because at all like mass tv we release videos all the time we bring out tips on how to handle some rhetorical math challenges remember this is jake's animal and guess what I love you so much because they are the reason for the existence of the channel. Every one of us at Online Mass TV, 
We love you dearly because you are so special and precious to us. Keep winning. Keep watching. Bye. Bye now.